So while the Trump administration is optimistic about the upcoming North Korea-U.S. summit in Vietnam, a number of U.S. lawmakers are skeptical as to how much President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un can achieve. Our Lee ji has more. There are now only a couple of weeks left until the second North Korea-U.S. summit in Hanoi. But U.S. politicians seem to have low expectations. That's according to The Hill on Sunday. Bob Menendez, the top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, said his bar is low based on what he saw at the first summit in Singapore. He added he does not see the necessary preparation that's needed to make a successful summit and that above all, the two sides, quote, should first agree on the definition of what denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula means. This comes after U.S. Special Representative for North Korea Stephen Began's remarks at Stanford University late last month when he said Pyongyang and Washington do not have a specific and agreed definition of what final fully verified denuclearization is. Democrat Jack Reed backed up his skepticism by the continued lack of an inventory from the North Koreans on their nuclear program. He said it's going to be hard for U.S. negotiators to come up with a tangible denuclearization progress since there has been no declaration of what nuclear sites, nuclear material and facilities are in the North. A number of senior Republican senators were also careful not to get too carried away. Mitt Romney says there are high hopes for the summit, but there aren't any particular expectations, as the North Koreans have, quote, proved over the years that their promises aren't worth much. Romney said he would love to see specific commitments from the North, but only time will tell. President Trump's defenders in Congress, however, continue to express confidence that there will be concrete commitments from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in Vietnam. Senate James Hinoff said President Trump wouldn't be going forward with another summit if he didn't expect good results from it and that Kim Jong-un wouldn't have come back as well if he isn't going to be more cooperative. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.